I'm going to start from the left over here because there's quite a bit of property to the left of the driveway and sometimes it goes unnoticed. Those are crepe myrtles and they do look very nice when they bloom. Notice a crisscross pattern on the fence. It's on the right and the left. My wife really likes that. The wrought iron gates open with garage door openers just like garage doors do. You do have that outset on the game room and that is a window seat. You do have wood windows on the entire front of the home, the original wood windows. And when someone stops and asks if we want to bid on them, I say, are you kidding? These are the original wood windows. How can you beat that? Anyway, the stone goes up into the peak, as you can tell, of that right side of the home and extends all the way over to the columns. There is a covered front porch. And we've got a bench that we have set out drinking coffee on that bench now and then. We just always loved the look of this home from the front and have had many people give us compliments just because of the style of the home. As we approach the front door, you can tell that it has been replaced. But wait a minute, it hasn't been replaced. It's actually the original. We just had it refinished, and it is really pretty. And here's the covered front porch. New fixtures, of course. And there's the window seat in the dining room. Now, let's take time to go inside. Now, from the entry, before we go back to the family room and the fireplace, we're going to take a look at the dining area and what we used as a game room. We didn't actually use this as a dining area. You certainly don't have to either. Note the window seat, that was a big plus for us. And note those wood windows, they're just fantastic. But crown mold throughout this home. Recent paint throughout most of the home. And you can use this as a dining area. We had a piano and sitting area in here. Now this game room, and note the terrarium on the end, we always got compliments on that in that very large window seat. That's where our Christmas village went at Christmas. But we had a pool table in this room when the boys were growing up. And when they were grown and gone, we turned it into a large family room with a huge screen TV. It's pretty much whatever you want it to be. We're gonna wander from the entryway into the family room. Note those great beams, that super niche for a large screen TV, or you could use it for art if you choose. That wall of stone all the way across and floor to ceiling is stunning. It really grabbed me when we first bought the house. And this family room is larger, I feel like, than what the staging shows. All the staging is tasteful. I feel like this room is much more spacious than what it seems with the staged furniture. And that dining room is certainly spacious. You can put a large table and chairs in here, especially with that indention, that bay window area. And my wife did insist on lots of recessed lighting in the kitchen, so it is a very brightly lit kitchen. And of course, recent flooring and countertops and backsplash, stainless steel appliances, terrific laundry room with lots of storage, and a sink, and a place for another refrigerator, which we always had. And there's a pegboard right there, which you couldn't see, which is a great place to hang tools and brooms and things like that. Again, tasteful backsplash. And over here is where we had our coffee bar when we lived here, right there. And from here you can certainly see from this angle, you could see a big screen TV if it were in that art niche. My wife always loved this window looking back out over the morning room and backyard and we had so many friends hang out right here at this breakfast bar. Now we're walking into what we refer to as the morning room. Notice the one pane of glass in the middle that is not tinted. That will be done. They just got a back order of that tint. This room was so bright and cheerful. It was literally my wife's favorite the entire time we lived here. We had a game table on this end right outside of this window to the kitchen. And we had a little sitting area and TV on the other end. We would usually have coffee here in the morning, look out over the yard, and of course this window is where we would pass food back and forth from the kitchen 
out to the game table. And I do mean game table. We saw lots of games played at the game table here in the morning room. Now we're going to walk into the primary suite from the family room. Note the shades do go from top to bottom and from bottom to top. And of course that picture window is indicative of the type of windows in the rest of the home with a lovely view across the backyard. And the sliding glass door leading from the primary suite out to the patio. Crown mold throughout this room and an updated ceiling fan, updated interior paint, trim, and wall paint. And you can see, of course, that you can see all the way across the house. Let's walk into the primary bath. There's a pocket door, which makes it quite convenient. And of course, the house was built in the 70s, so the primary suite isn't quite as large as you will see in a new home, but it's been tastefully remodeled with granite counters cabinet fronts, updated fixtures, updated shades, remodeled shower. The shower head does include one of the rain overhead and a handheld that you can turn to different sprays. And I'm sorry I'm remiss that I didn't show the corner bench as I'm looking at this video in the corner of that shower, nor did I show the three levels of storage, top, middle, and bottom on that. You've got a great walk-in closet too. So from the entry, we're gonna walk down this hallway. As you can see, there are three separate closets down this hallway. Let's go into the middle bedroom first. Crown mold, obviously recent paint, trim and walls, updated ceiling fan, and I do apologize, I didn't show you the closet space. There are closets across the entire wall behind us. And of course you've got that lovely view. There is a shade coming for that window. The same shades as on the other windows that go up and down. We'll go across the hall. This bedroom has a window seat. Updated fan, of course, crown mold, and this particular room has a walk-in closet. These two front rooms are carpeted. This one has built-in shelving, and you can tell the shade goes up and down or down and up. And again, these floor-to-ceiling windows are just stunning, bring in lots of light, and this room has two closets, so you have nice closet space in here as well. We're going to go into the secondary bath. This bath has been remodeled. The granite is actually Taj Mahal, very nicely upgraded granite, just like in the primary bath. Lots of storage, framed mirror, very high quality window that actually opens to the inside. Remodeled shower, you can see that you've got the rain shower head as well as the handheld. And lots of space in here. I'm remiss that I didn't show you the storage behind that door. Lots of storage behind that door. And as we go back down the hall, note all the storage provided by those three closets once again. Okay, now we're stepping out the back door. The door out of the primary suite, by the way. Of course, you got the fountain right there, visible from the primary suite and from the morning room. And you've got a stone path right out to the patio. Now, that extension was added to the patio quite sincerely because we used to watch TV under the patio. Then we realized when we were sitting out at the fire pit, we couldn't see the TV. So we added a pad for the fire pit and a TV on the other side so we can watch football from either side. Of course there's extensive landscape which is kind of rare for backyards. The entire fence is only a couple years old and was stained and sealed so it should last quite a while. 
We've set many mornings out on this patio drinking coffee and watching the rain, listening to the birds. The two buildings you see down there, one is a large storage shed and one is actually a building that has been used as an office, as an exercise room, as a storage room. It was originally a pigeon coop. When we get closer, you'll probably be able to see what I mean. The trees are just stunning. There are times when there's hardly any sun hitting the grass. So grass is not easy to keep growing, but if you're diligent and keep it watered, uh, you can keep grass going. Now you see some paths, and those paths are going to disappear, unless you have a large dog, but those paths are because of our German Shepherd. German Shepherds have a tendency to walk the perimeter and protect the perimeter of the home, and she would run from one side all the way to the other, and if you could see along the back fence before all the mulch was put in, you'd see that there was a path around the complete perimeter of the home. Now this larger building with the air conditioner used to be a pigeon coop, and we've used it for various things over the years. But I could stand here and throw a frisbee a long way, and my German Shepherd would run, catch it in the air. I'd have to navigate around those trees, but it's just a fantastic backyard. This is actually my favorite part of the home. The entrance to that shed, actually it's not a shed, it's currently whatever you want it to be. And you can see the rock path from the laundry room over to the patio as well. And you can see what I mean, there's sun hitting the grass for the most part, it is nicely shaded. And I don't know if I've mentioned this, but the roof is only about four to five years old. 